Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we'll see how to make a family tree in Excel. Excel is a very versatile application and can be used to create all kinds of documents, not just for its uh, spreadsheet capabilities, where I use it to create a database or tables or uh, do calculations. So uh, let's see how to create a family tree in Excel. Uh, there are two ways of doing it. The first way is to use a template provided by Microsoft Office. So I need to go to File. And uh, under this, I'll see I have an option saying More Templates. So I'll select More Templates. And when this uh, here in the search box, I'm going to type Family Tree and see. So here it is uh, shown me two types. There's a Family Tree Generator and the Photo. Let me select the first type. So I've selected this template and then I'm going to say create. And now you can see that it has created, it has um, opened a new file for which has a family tree generator. And it tells me how to use this. So here you have to enter the grandparents here and then enter the first generation, second generation, etc. Since uh, Excel not only provides help text telling you how to do it, uh, it, uh, it also will create or generate the family tree. I'm not going to change any of the names since there are a lot of uh, examples here. And I'll just click on the button, create family tree. So now you can see, let's just make this a little smaller since it's quite a large family tree. Now you can see that the family tree has been created. Again, Excel gives you uh, help to tell you how to edit this family tree. Let's just move this out of the way, this uh, note, so that we can see it. And we can see that Excel has generated a very neat family tree. And it tells you how to edit it. So you could go back to the family members tab and edit it. So this is one way that is uh, using the template provided by Microsoft Office. Let's close this file. I'm not going to save it. And see the second way, which is to use the SmartArt uh, suite of tools. So for that, I'll go to Insert. And under this, under illustrations, I have smart art. So this again is a set of graphics which I can use to uh, create any kind of diagram. Since a family tree is a type of hierarchy, I will go to hierarchy. So these uh, typically are used for organization charts, but I can adapt this for a family tree. So I've selected the type of hierarchy and uh, now I can enter the names. So uh, I'll enter the first generation. And for the next uh, one, I just have to press tab and pre type the next name for the next level of the hierarchy. Now, as you can see, this a side box I don't need. So in this text pane, I will just backspace and delete it. And now I can add one more level over here by uh, typing another name. So in this way, I can use the SmartArt tools in Excel to create a hierarchy. I'm not going to create the whole thing, but uh, in this way, if I want names at the same level, I just press uh, a plain enter. And if I want it on the next level, uh, I just need to tap. So in this way, using the SmartArt suite, I can create a family uh, tree as well. So uh, the previous method using the template is if I'm creating it as a document, if I'm looking to insert it as an uh, object in a report or in some other document I'm preparing, it may be a better idea to use this method. This is how to make a family tree in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.